Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great today. Today we're back with another episode of uh, Deus Ex Human Revolution. And I think we were starting to explore the hive and we failed the conversation check with the bartender. So let's find another way to get to the big boss. Not entirely sure how to approach it, but I did hear about a key card. I think it was a key card. No, no, it was a pocket secretary that someone left somewhere in the club. So we're going to do a whole lot of exploration and hopefully find it. Anyway, let's get into it. And here we go. So where have we been and where have we not been? This is where the bartender guy was. So let's go to the other side of this place. And see what's what. Why can't we make profits and be conscious of what we do at the same time? That's all I'm asking for. All right. Oh, that's a sound system, okay. At first I was like, what? Is this a, a camera? Also, this this is not the design choice that I would approve of. It's such a wasted space. Okay, so this guy does not want to talk to me and this one I cannot possibly hack into. because he's probably going to, you know, have words to say about it. Good night. Hello. How's it going? You guys want anything? I'm the bartender now. <laughs> okay. That's an interesting POS system. Okay, so... Um, this one, obviously, I cannot hack into. And this is where the stair is. Interesting. I should see if I can get to it from the other side somehow. It wouldn't make sense, but... You gotta give it a go at least, right? A bathroom? How about a pocket secretary here? Does that sound good? Don't mind me. Hello. Add it to media log. Okay. The bull has been asking questions about our litter basement club. Has someone broken the first rule? I hear him or anyone asking again, I will find a little snitch and cut off more than just a finger. In the meantime, I'm changing the basement access code to 0415. I think this is the one. Memorize it and delete this missive. This is perfect. Okay, uh, I'm done here, by the way. Thank you. What about women's bathroom? Is someone gonna yell at me for it? Oh, I've been to- Have I just not checked out the other bathroom? Oh my god. Wait a second, what? Did I just leave the club? I'm not okay with this. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, this is how I got in here in the first place, isn't it? Yeah. All right, sorry, never mind. I was never here. Close the door behind you. Right, so... This is not... This is the one! So does it work on any restricted access door? Because I would like to check the one up stairs as well.
Hi, sir. Hey, <laughs> Wolverine wannabe. I can get behind the DJ. And he's got something. So I see this guy laying on the ground in the alley, all beat up and shit. The blood pouring out of his shoulder. The harvester must have been his sight with one of Damn. Yeah, cool. I'd say. That's Is right. this the major? They're the cops around here in case you didn't know it. They're here to put an end to corruption. And I can get them here in seconds because my dad works for them. Wow, that's cool. So if I call you next week, can you get me on the guest list? And the cover charge here is highway robbery. All right. Hello? They are harvesters. Hey, my car. That's a little goons. So I've seen you. You're not very tall. Yeah, no, thank you. All right, they're not gonna like it if I have this one. No, they will not. Find and speak with Tong Si Hung. Right, okay. Well, let's see. What do we have here? I think this was the main entrance. So I probably did not want to go there. <laughs> oh, wow. You want to think real hard about trying that again? Maybe another time. All right, your business. You come back and see me if you change your mind. Uh, did he not see me just walking out of this place, or what? I guess he didn't care? Alright, he's not gonna let me. Alright, um, let's go back to our favorite vent right now. These. Go straight into the vent. There we go. I wonder how many other entrances or entrance possibilities there are for this place. Okay, so we know. You can hear it from here? That sucks. Let's see, so 0415 is what we need. I wonder if they're gonna be hostile to me now. Now that I'm here. Over here. It's bizarre. Ah, interesting. Can I hack this one? No. How much do I have on me? Hacking level three, okay. Well, should we just continue going? 
checking level 5 as the top. Oh man, now I'm really interested about what's in there. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna look, look at it. Hey sir, how's it going? Oh no! <laughs> I did not expect that. That would have made sense, but I didn't expect that. Alright. Let's just do it again. But not walk into the other dude's place. Or maybe walk into it very quietly. There's so many people. Over there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, one would think that I would learn from one time, but apparently that's not how things work. Exit. Exit to where? Okay. Nothing, I suppose. Right. Never mind. Gotcha. Don't mind me, this is fine. Why are there shoes on the pipe? Who can tell me? That camera. All right. I see. So this is how I need to proceed. Got it. So maybe I shouldn't have brought him over here. Maybe I should have brought him in the opposite direction instead. Like this way. Just like tuck him over in the corner. Check out what that place is. This doesn't open? But there's a room! What? Okay... I thought you had better manners. Don't you know to knock before entering a room? This isn't a social call, Tom. You bastard! Ah, you bell tower boys! Always with the funny. So, what do you want today? I'm looking for a cyber security specialist named Van Bruggen. You know him? Doesn't ring any bell. What do he do? Steal something? Let's just say he's pissed off the Dragon Queen. And so will you if she finds out you're riding him. Khan! You know I'd never bet on a loser. Interesting. At least 
he gets the same treatment. Bobby, Thank you, you waste the bone and meat? You there? Yeah, boss? Get a message to Van Bruggen. Capsule 301, Alice Guard and Pod. Tell him. If he stick his head out, Tai Young Medical is gonna chop it off. Malik, you were right. Tong is helping Van Bruggen. He stashed him in the Alice Garden pods. Thought as much. A hacker who knows his way around corporate firewalls would make a valuable asset for the triads. I'm at the pods myself, Jensen. Want me to run interference? No. Don't put yourself at risk. I'm heading there now. Am I now? I want to see what's in the other space. And can I enter this room now? So that's what that room was. Okay, that, that makes sense now, all of a sudden. So let's see. What can we do here? This is where I can hide from the camera. That's another place. comes out here I guess all right I can dig it oh hello there how is it going <laughs> Nuke virus software? Do we have anyone here? Excuse me? What is this? Is this a torture room? He's... Oh my god, he's very dead. Right. It is a torture room. I don't like it. to go to the other side now. That's an exit? I did not see that coming. Whoa. Oh, that's where the fog is, isn't it? I believe so. Can I see it still? Right. Yeah, this! Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Alright, we found ourselves another retreat. That's good to know. So, let's see. There's another room that I didn't get to. that goddamn camera. I actually don't know if it can see this way. Because it was like here, right? Maybe it can't. I'm still gonna wait, just in case. I 
I do wonder if doors can be obstacles enough for cameras to just disregard. Hunting the hacker. There's three people in there? Oh geez, okay. Oh, that's the security booth. That makes so much sense. So if I just go here, would everyone freak out? Because I'm exiting the restricted area. I feel like that would be the case. So let's just go. Oh, it would see me. I don't know. I don't think I meant to exit this way. I was looking for my vent and I blanked. <laughs> there. Wonder who the guy is who they killed. I was fine walking in, but walking out is an issue. Maybe I should use the sewers. God damn. Okay. I don't think I need to do this. Whoop. Stuck on the door. Right, so I need to be careful walking out of this, I suppose. I wonder if I can just use. the opportunity while he walks away from here. This is fine. Don't mind me. Harvester. Okay. Oh, hey, that worked out. Why did he see me last time? Because I was standing? All right, sir, don't mind me. So, now... We need to go to the garden box, yeah. where I have already been. <laughs> okay. I think this is the way to go? Yeah. I 
Alice Garden. Well, hopefully not everyone is going to be hostile to me right now, because that would be a shame. So, seeing this, maybe they're upstairs. I was gonna say that these guys, okay, so they will probably eventually become hostile to me, huh? Jeez, he's looking right at me. Right, so... Rio... Ooh. Jensen, I... I was on my way out. What are you doing here, Malak? I told you I got this one. I know, it, I didn't do anything. Trust me, Van Bruggen's all yours. Hang on a second, something's wrong. What is it? Why are you here? It's nothing. I mean, can't a girl have secrets? Depends on the secrets. I doubt the boss would appreciate his chief pilot getting into trouble, especially this far from home. I can take care of myself, Jensen. I had business to attend to. Personal business. Malik, come on. Fine, since you're so damn curious. Years ago, I used to live here, remember? My friend, my best friend, Evelyn. She was like a sister to me. Made living here fun. <laughs> but then there was an accident. No. She, she's dead. I'm sorry, Malik. Wait, Jensen, let me finish. I thought I was okay with it, but... I know. I know she didn't just die. She was killed. Murdered. Her damn scumbag boyfriend did it. I know he did. I knew he was trouble right from the start, but she just wouldn't listen to me. Malik, easy. If your friend was murdered, the police would have suspected something. They would have investigated. That's just it. There was no investigation. They said she fell down a flight of stairs like it was some kind of freak accident. But her wounds, the way she died, they don't add up. It's right here in the damn blood spatter analysis. Blood spatter? You've seen the police report? Yes. A friend left a copy of it in a pod here for me to pick up. Listen, I know it sounds crazy, but I think... I think there's been a cover-up. I just have to prove it. If I could get my hands on the autopsy report, the one that never surfaced, I know I'd get the truth. Except... Why do I suspect I'm about to get dragged into something? Look, Jensen, I'm sorry. I know Van Bruggen is the priority here. And I told you it was my business and I could take care of it. It's just... The more I think about it, the more I realize I'm in over my head. I'm just a pilot. I'm not a damn cop. But I need to know the truth. Um... How common is it to get a blood spatter when you fall down the stairs? Wouldn't you just break your neck or something? Unless you fall down the stairs multiple times, repeatedly. Same stairs, even. Tell me about Evelyn. She was beautiful, carefree, loved to have a good time. I met her during my internship for a private transportation and logistics firm here in Shanghai. She was a great pilot, too. Knew how to feel the currents, to push the bird just so. Two better talents for reading the wind didn't translate to reading guys. How so? She was always getting into trouble with the wrong crowds. And it always had to do with some boy. She knew I didn't like him, her boyfriend at the time, Lee. It drove a wedge between us, and when we parted ways, it wasn't amicable. I understand. She was a good girl, Jensen. She deserved better. Why do you suspect Evelyn's boyfriend had something to do with her death? Because he was poison, right from the start. Born into money and influence, but never once assuming responsibility for anything. I don't think he's worked an honest day in his life. So he was a wealthy, big-headed asshole. If that was reason enough to accuse someone of murder, half the world would be in the pen. No, there's more to it than that. He's known for violent outbursts, domestic altercations. He nearly killed a kid over some stupid gambling feud. The problem is, his family made him untouchable, even to the police. And Evelyn was okay with all of this? She... always tried to see the good in people, give him the benefit of the doubt. You could say that's just being naive or even stupid, but I think she was just... Innocent. Hmm. Yeah, you said that's you've a seen good the police question. report. 
Who gave it to you? An old friend who was also a good friend of Evelyn's. He used to work for the Shanghai PD. He left a copy of it along with a few other things concerning Evelyn in a pod here for me to look at. He also left some instructions on how to contact someone at Lim for the autopsy report he's convinced was intentionally buried. Why would Lim have anything to do with Evelyn's autopsy report? Well, if you haven't noticed, the Chinese government has been outsourcing branches of its public services for years. Bell Tower polices the streets, and nowadays Lim does more than just cosmetic surgery. They're often contracted for special cases like Evelyn's. And what made Evelyn's case so special, you think? Her boyfriend, Lee. He was at the scene. He had Evelyn's blood on him and tested positive for alcohol and drugs in his system. With his rap sheet, it wasn't looking good for him. But his family, they're on a lot of boards with deep pockets and a lot of reach. They wouldn't suffer the embarrassment of having their son indicted on a suspected murder charge. Wow. This autopsy report. Once you got your hands on it, what were you planning on doing next? I... I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm a pilot, not a cop. But I just... I felt I had to do something while I had the chance. Maybe once you get the report and we know what it says, we can... improvise. Improvise. Okay. We can certainly do that. Okay, I'll help. What do you need me to do? My lead. He works for Lim. He's a systems technician who apparently has access to their entire database. He's willing to hand over a copy of Evelyn's autopsy report. So you want me to meet him and get the report? Is that it? Yes, but he'll only respond to a certain phrase. Death and life have their determined appointments. To which he'll reply, riches and honors depend upon heaven. Christ, Malik, this is starting to sound like something out of a bad spy movie. I know. He's just trying to protect himself. I didn't pick the damn quote. So just play along and remember the line, okay? You'll find him inside the lobby of the Lower Hengshaw Lim Clinic. Does this guy have a name? None that I know of. But he apparently goes by the handle Anonymous X. I know, I know. Anonymous X. <laughs> okay, anything else? Yeah, before I forget, everything concerning Evelyn's <clears throat> incident, newspaper articles, the police report, Lim details, it's all inside pod 009 here in the hotel. You should read over everything if you can. Pod 9. Got it. I need to go. Contact me with any updates and... Thank you. I really appreciate this, Jensen. Okay. Zero, zero, 009. Let's go look at it. Millionaire Hugh Darrow has contacted me personally to deny allegations of I feel like I've been to that pod before, though. Because I looked at all of them. <laughs> Rocket secretary? No, I must not have seen it then. Fly girl. The limb contact has agreed to meet you tonight. I don't know how large or small this window of opportunity is, or how long it will remain open to us, but it's the only thing we can we have to go on. Hopefully we can trust him. He holds the biggest piece of this puzzle. I am sorry. I can't be of any more help on this. As much as it pains me to see Lee walk, my hands are tied. If my supervisor found out I was even talking about this, he'd have my badge. I've attached a copy of the police report filed on the night of the incident. The original transcript has been practically gutted by IID, as you will no doubt see. The autopsy report should help fill in the blanks. Yes, you owe me a pocket secretary. Incident. 23-year-old Caucasian female, DOA from probable fall downstairs. Only witness's boyfriend who was found at scene. Evelyn Carmichael. Severe head trauma, cranial lacerations, internal bleeding swelling like the cause of death. Well, okay, I guess heads do bleed quite a bit, but, eh. Suspects, Lee Hong, on citation needed, <laughs> at approximately 2349 hours, personnel from the LHPF responded to a distressed call from suspect 209. Upon arrival at the scene, the responding officer witnessed victim on the ground near citation needed see transcript 
Victim was unresponsive. First response EMT unit on scene. Pronounced victim deceased at approximately 002. Victim was transported to unknown for further evaluation and possible treatment. Suspect, wearing a shirt covered in what appeared to be victim's blood, was questioned by responding officer Sergeant Maggi. Suspect was visibly distressed, claiming victim had been drinking prior to the incident and had fallen. Okay. The suspect was tested, confirming suspicion of intoxication. Suspect was then detained and transported to... Unknown. Further questioning after EMT unit cleared him for release. Suspect later claimed incident occurred moments before call to LHPF emergency, roughly between 2340 and 2345 hours. Further screening and urinalysis revealed narcotic element EXT9 in suspect system. Suspect remained in custody until unknown before being released. Forensic evidence at the scene turned up inconclusive data to support suspect's claim. Blood spatter analysis concluded that while blood cast off patterns matched those of a fall, there was no evidence of a low to medium velocity impact spatter to match victim's wound and the probable cause of death. Blunt force head trauma and intracranial hemorrhaging. Further investigations into the case are suspended until post-mortem evaluation and autopsy is concluded at unknown. Pending further evidence, Lieutenant Yan <laughs> edited this out. Suspect is clear of persecution, formal charges of or otherwise, by order of attorney. Mm. Of course. Can I not? Rooftop pitfalls blame another. Evelyn Carmichael, a young woman in her early 20s, became one of the latest victims claimed by the deadly Yeozhao rooftops that have authorities clamoring for stricter safety regulations and zoning permits. Wait, what? Sources close to the victim say Evelyn had been out celebrating with her boyfriend before the incident occurred. A witness, whose identity was not released, claims she slipped and fell while descending one of the many staircases. Okay. That connect the Yeozhao and Kuaigan rooftops with Handeng Street below. Police believe alcohol and drugs may have influenced the fatal ex accident. But officials claim the tragedy could have been avoided entirely if laws were different. With elections just around the corner, Evelyn's death will no doubt spark a host of new debates and controversy concerning citywide safety regulations. Rooftop-related injuries and deaths have steadily risen in the last five years and make up over 60% of all recorded accident fatalities each year. Um, okay, so initially as I was reading it, I thought they meant that she fell from a roof because they were talking about rooftops, but no, that actually was changed to what actually, presumably, happened. So let's see. So now I have this other guy to talk to, right? Yeah, him. Hunting the hacker. So let's go take care of that, and then we can head over to it the limb clinic. We as a species stepped up to make things better. Let me just save quickly in case there is another cutscene that I'm not prepared for. Hello. Forget it, man. You're not my type. This isn't a booty call, Van Bruggen. This is about you and some friends of yours I met in Detroit. Detroit? Yeah, okay. I got it now. You had Seraph, right? You were there when I had to pull the plug. So you admit it. You were running a mole. The heck, man. Just the heck. Worst decision I ever made taking that gig. As you can obviously see. You attack my people, Windmill. You hope to walk away from this. You tell me what you know. Down, boy. I've got no allegiance to that backstabbing bitch who hired me. Especially after she painted a target on my back. The girl you want is Zhao Yunru, Tai Young Medical CEO. Tai Young Medical? They're Seraph's biggest competition. How do you think they got that way? Zhao doesn't like competition, see. 
so she uses hack attacks, blackmail, extortion, anything she can do to destabilize him. No offense, but Saref was just the latest in a long line. You got any proof of this? There's a surveillance recording in the Tai Young Tower. I stashed it on the server in case I ever needed an insurance policy. Not a very smart place to hide it, seeing as you don't work there anymore. Things got hot before I could move it. And now, I got you to get it for me. Of course, <laughs> you can't arrogance. just walk into that place. You're gonna need an employee card encoded with your biometrics to use the TYM shuttle. Well, what do you know, Windmill? I've already got an employee card. Just needs the biometrics from my passport to work. So start encoding. There you go. All shiny and bio-encoded, just like I promised. Where do I find this recording? On a surveillance server in the TYM tower. But that badge will only get you into the lower city factory, via their employee shuttle. And how am I supposed to get up to the tower from down here? Never said it wouldn't require a little finesse. Look, the tricky part is getting through the pango. But you're a resourceful guy. I have faith in you. Right. And after I'm through the floof? You'll be in the upper city tower. The server you want is in the central security hub. The login and password are on this. Now, about my reward. Try your medical, man! They're here! Banner! I want that hack a day! You gotta help me, Jason. They're gonna kill me! And that concerns me how? Um... Oh, come on! I helped you out. At least give me a weapon so I could defend myself. Oh no. Sorry. This one is upgraded. Sorry, Windmill. You're on your own. Nah, fuck you, man! Sorry. Stepped up to make things better. Our best chance of doing this is to modify ocean through a combination of ions and geos. Um. Wasn't there a vent somewhere that I saw? I gotta make it to the emergency exit, I think. Yeah, I don't... I can't remember if there was one. They're not looking, that's good. Those guys are. Okay, let's see. Not that. So, if I go this way... I might go down to the main stair, which is not great. But maybe a better option. Oh, they're moving. Shit. Woo! Oh, no. Shit. God damn it. I gotta talk to the guy. Should have found my exits first. God damn it. Those guys are coming. I see. To the project which has consumed all of my attention these days. You're referring to the Panchea project, the cooperative global initiative that aims at healing our world. Earth's ecosphere is in serious trouble, Eliza. 
And it's time that we as a species stepped up to make things better. Our best chance of doing this is to modify ocean temperature through a combination of right. and geothermal. Oh, not good. Not good. Not good at all. All right, do you need to leave? Oh, she's coming too. Ooh. And this isn't even over. All right, so what do we have here? Oh, good God. Right. is locked of course what do we have here oh shit That's not good. Camera. Event, please. I've got a man down here. Ah, oh, that's not good at all. Can I move this? I can. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a big dirt. What the fuck did I get myself into? Where's the goddamn exit? <laughs> That's not good. That's not good at all. I think I need to make it over there, don't I? Something's beeping, and I don't like it. If I get up to investigate this, it's going to screw me. I'm sorry, what? Oh, 
Where do I need to go? Oh, shit. This is the long way, but it might be a better way. was the first time I was actually able to pick one of that one of those up. Is there no one here? I'm not seeing anybody. Yeah, I'm, I'm really not. Oh, good lord. That's not good. I might need to try the bathroom again. Or is that... No, that is, that is not how I got there in the first place. Why is the camera not moving? Oh, yeah, that's not great. This is where I came from. Isn't that lovely? I made it all the way here for no reason. me. That's all good. So I needed to be here. He is very dead. Have I seen this sauna before? I don't think I have. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh, man. How do I get into these situations? Did I just go into entirely the wrong direction? I think I did. God damn it. Right, so. Who do we have here? And where's the goddamn mine? No, go away. I swear. Good. There's so many mines. Okay. 
Hey! I don't see no people. So that's good news. And no other ways out either. Who saw me? Someone did. That was loud as hell. Both gonna come here. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> I don't like where this is going. Not good. Don't come closer, please. Sector one, one, two, clear. Clear? I copy that. Out. Get these corpses out of here. We're done. Do I have space? Barely. Wait. Rate of fire. Let's see. Just a pistol. Okay. Stun gun. I forgot I picked you up. Combat rifle, of course. Right, so let's save and check out where we are. Was there a way to go in there somehow? Okay, this might be the main entrance. I think it is. Oh, it doesn't look very main right now. Be 
if they make it over here, which I don't think they will actually. No. Doesn't look like they're coming this way. That is one hell of a weapon you got there, sir. Let's see, how close do you come? You look around for quite a while, don't you? And I... So this eliminate double sweep. only works when I'm using the the takedown at the back, right? Yeah, I think so. Nope. Not what I wanted. Uh, I don't think there's anywhere to hide in there. No. He couldn't have slipped away. Find him. Oh, well, maybe there is. Maybe there is. He's gonna see him. Somewhere. He's gonna see him. to eat one of you big ones wait oh no this one or maybe a small one no let's do small one oh okay that was terrifying Right. Ah, I remember seeing this from the outside. I could have gone in here, but I didn't see that. God damn it. It was like right here. How did I not see that? Ah, man, blindness. No, is this is this the exit? Please be the exit. <laughs> yes. Oh man. Okay.
Not gonna lie. Malik, get Pritchard on the line. Tell him I need everything he's got on the Tai Young Medical Building. Schematics, blueprints, everything. That might take a while, Jensen. Yeah, well, he's got as long as it takes for me to find this Tai Young shuttle Van Bruggen talked about and ride it to their factory. Jensen out. Woohoo! That was exhilarating. I think you're not gonna mind me just walking around here. I guess not. Let's just go up. Right, so, um, where is it that I need to go? Limb clinic, okay. Yeah, I should have just gone straight. Let's do it. Well, that went okay. Although I, I don't think I got the ghost because I got um... Excuse me. Do you know where the limb clinic is? Yes, it's on Chichen Road near the market. Great, thanks. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I need to. Um, I got. Our best chance of doing this is to modify the camera alerted. Through a combination of iron and Forgive me, Mr. Darrow. So now I can access the Taiyang place. That explains a lot. Let's see. Who is our target? It's got to be a doctor, right? Or men's room? No, authorized personnel. Never mind. I don't know if I can enter this room, but I'll try. I cannot. Never mind. So, who is it that we can talk to? Is it you? You look nervous. <sighs> no. You? Can't you see I'm busy? Don't bother someone else. Hashtag Chan. Don't bother someone else. Death and, death and life. Nice hat. Evelyn's autopsy. Death and life. Death and life have their determined appointments. What? Oh, uh, and riches and honors depend upon heaven. Very good. Right, what now? Shh. They have eyes and ears everywhere. Meet me outside the clinic. Turn left from the front and go down the stairs. I'll be waiting at the corner. You better be. Turn left and down the stairs. Okay. You better not be dead when I get there. Left and down the stairs. It doesn't have an office code, but in here There you are. He's alive. That's good. Over here. Come on now. I'm relieved to know they sent a professional at least. That makes two of us. Right. Well, you're not exactly what I was expecting. I was told I would be meeting a girl. How do I know you're not an imposter or some sort of double agent? Don't think I don't know this could all just be an elaborate trap to set me up. Look, no offense, Mr. X, or whatever your name is, but I really don't have time for this. So if you could simply just give me what I came for, I'll be on my way. Yes, yes. I have it right here. Evelyn Carmichael's autopsy report. Here, take it. Thank you. I trust you will put this information to good use because accountability and justice is at an all time low, I'm afraid. It pains me to see this once great city, which stood as a bastion for reform and progress against our oppressive communist origins, succumb to the trappings of corporate bureaucracy and petty corruption. Corruption so often typical of your Western governments. Whatever you say. Now, if you don't mind, I really must be going. Well, there is still the matter of my payment. One thousand credits was the agreed-upon price, I believe. Isn't that right? Um, you already gave me the goods. I don't know about that. 
A little piece of advice. When attempting to extort money from someone, don't give them what they want before trying to rip them off. What? What? You... you mean you aren't going to pay? But I risked everything to get you that file! Chalk it up to a learning experience and move on. You... you... you scoundrel! You'll regret this... someday. You just... you just mock my words! See you later, X. Oh, man. I am not a very good person, aren't I? Alright, let's see. So what is the next step? Manage to get Evelyn's autopsy report. So let's read it. Mental note. After extraction, remove all traces. All that is necessary for the triumph of, of evil is that good men do nothing. You are very poetic. Okay. Time of death 2215. That is way different than what they pronounced her as. Final diagnosis. Craniocerebral injuries. Skull contusion. A linear pattern of lacerations on right side of skull. Linear pattern of lacerations of right side or uh, cerebral hemisphere. Wow. Sub arachnoid and subdural hemorrhage. Small contusions, tips of temporal lobes, abrasion on left cheek, abrasion contusion, posterior left shoulder, abrasion on right lower back and posterior right lower leg. Toxicology studies, blood ethanol, none detected. Blood drug screen, no drugs detected. She was a good girl. Clinical pathologic correlation. Cause of death of this 23-year-old female is asphyxia by seizure associated with craniocerebral trauma and intracranial hemorrhaging. Addendum. Uh, quantitative blood tests revealed a high level of- Oh no, she was pregnant! In the subject's bloodstream, a hormone produced during an early stages of pregnancy. Further examination confirmed the presence of first trimester fetal development. So he killed her because she was pregnant? Man, can't wait to get my hands on that, dude. So let's see. Malik, I just got the autopsy report. No drugs or alcohol in Evelyn's system. And her estimated time of death doesn't fit Lee's story. She did die from a head wound, but not one that matches the evidence found at the scene. I knew it. It couldn't have been just an accident. There's more. Evelyn was pregnant. Malik? I'm here. I... We can't let him get away with this, Jensen. He's guilty. He has to be. Can you go to his apartment? And do what? Get proof. Get... something. I'm sending you the coordinates. Contact me again when you're there. Oh, we're gonna go to his apartment, all right. But we're gonna do it in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I did not quite expect the... The Alice Gardens to turn hostile on me right away, otherwise I would have done this before I did the gardens. So, mistakes were made, but we got out of there successfully. Um, we died once because of a stupid mistake, but that's par for the course, I think. Anyway, uh, now I cannot wait to get my hands on uh, this dude, and uh, hopefully I get some choices on how to deal with him. We'll see. Like I mentioned before, we are not getting the pacifist achievement in this playthrough already because of something happened that was way in the beginning, so we have some freedom of choice. Like I said in the beginning, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please consider leaving me a like and subscribing, and I will see you when we get to deal with the guy next time. <laughs>